How to Tell Wild Animals is a light-hearted poem written by Carolyn Wells. In the poem, the poet tells us about some strange and funny ways to identify wild animals. There are hints in the poem that can be used to find the names of the animals the poet is trying to tell us about. Putting the pieces of this poem together and figuring out the animals is like solving a puzzle. It is a funny and exciting poem. In the opening stanza, the poet starts to describe the Asian lion. She says that you have met an Asian lion if an animal with yellowish brown skin roars at you and you are so afraid that you faint. In the second verse, the poet describes a royal animal that is free to roam the jungle and has black stripes on its yellowish skin. She says, you'll know it's a Bengal tiger if he starts eating you. But it is useless to identify an animal if in the process you have to sacrifice your own life. The third stanza of the poem tells us about an animal that walks slowly and whose body is entirely covered in tiny dots that give it a salt and pepper appearance. Small things that were thrown at the animal appear to be the cause of the small marks on his body. You will know the animal is a leopard when it jumps on you. The leopard won't leave you, not even if you cry. Be cautious and resist letting him pounce on you. The poet claims in the verse that follows that you can identify a bear if it is hugging you strongly as you are walking through a field. When someone loves and cares for us, they show it by giving us a tight hug as an expression of their sentiments. However, a bear will kill you with his tight hug if he hugs you in real life. In the fifth stanza, the poet questions the readers if they can tell which animal they are seeing by observing what they do after hunting their prey. She continues by claiming that hyenas laugh after killing their prey. Similarly, tears can be seen in the eyes of crocodiles as they eat their prey. The poet tells us about a little lizard that has the power to change its skin color in the final stanza. Although it looks like a lizard, it is without wings and ears. When no one is on the tree, this chameleon or garden lizard can be seen. The chameleon is safe from hunters and other animals thanks to its ability to change the color of its skin.